mm, these people don't finally shut down Nigeria. Make una come here, una take home for una senators them. Na senators, sani na ikon talk. My people le, abba jowe, ete bong akpa biyo, relax. They share money to email box. They share message to email box. My people le, in short eh, no be me talk, make una just see, ah! In short, leave your comment. I know if you talk, what the video. Is that to raise the alarm uh, years ago about what uh, lawmakers take home. What exactly are we to make of this, uh, you know, developments? 21 million naira per senator. How, I mean, is there any law that empowers the Senate to decide uh, what it takes home? And what exactly are these running costs? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Well, since 1999, uh, since the restoration of democracy in Nigeria, uh, we have had a series of sessions of the National Assembly. And one thing that has remained uh, shielded from the public knowledge uh, has been the allowances, and the payment, and the finances of the parliamentarians. And when I went to the Senate in 2015, I, first of all, was one of those uh, on the field as an activist, uh, always calling for the Senate to open its books and the need for transparency and openness for people, taxpayers particularly, to know how much, they, uh, how much their own representatives are earning. It was on the basis of that that as a senator in 2017, I disclosed that um, I found out that I was my account was credited every month with 13.5 million naira, and that was separate from the salary, which at that time was 750,000. Uh, so, when any person is elected into uh, the parliament, whether as a senator or as a member of the House of Reps, there are three categories of payments he receives. Yeah. The first one is the salary. Uh, during our time was 750 and then the 9th Senate was almost 850 and then this 10th Senate they have a million. And then the second payment uh, is the running cost of office. Uh, it is money that is credited to your own account and you are expected to retire uh, the items listed for the running cost. And um, every, at that time, we were given 13.5, and I think the ninth Senate, they had something like 15 or 16 million. And then now, revealed by Kawul Smiler that they are having, we are on 21 million. And the third payment uh, a, a, parliament, a, a, a senator or member has reps get is the uh, constituency uh, projects or funds. But in that case, you are not given this large sum of money because each legislator it depends on the zones you come from. If you are from the northwest, at least during our time, you get like 250 million per annum. But the differences between the salary, the running cost, and the constituency funds is that constituency funds are domiciled in. Uh, a government agency, whether ministry, department, or agency of the federal government. And there you'll be told that um, you have such amount of money with us, and then you are going to submit a list of items you want that money to be spent on. So some uh, senators will choose to build hospitals and schools, uh, roads. Some will say they want to do empowerment programs in their own constituency, and all sorts of things. And that has been the case and then problem emerged when uh, there was no there was opacity in terms of no no transparency right. in the way the constituency funds were managed so for that um, there was an innovation introduced during the Buhari administration that ICPC was mandated to uh, monitor those projects so but the point is that I, I don't think the ICPC has that manpower and the time <clears throat> to go all the whole country looking for projects that were executed by senator. So basically, what Kaus Maila did 
was to simply second what I did many years ago okay. by disclosing the amount. So when I had the Resource Mobilization and Physical Allocation Commission uh, making claims that senators are only giving one million naira, and I saw that in the statement which they made mention by name, refuting what I said. Mm. But I'm happy that Kaus Mela has vindicated me, and I insisted that running cost is also part of the payment to a senator because it is not credited to the account of your office, it's credited to your personal account. Mm -hmm. So how will you separate that? And I heard what he was saying, that the um, solution should be asked, where does the money come from? Well, if I am a senator mm -hmm. and, and money comes to me, it's not for me to be asking where the money comes from as far as I'm, I'm, my account is credited and I have to do what I need to do. I, I think the, prop, the, the issue now is that this, this matter has brought more light to the conversation on the need for transparency. Uh, and that's what we hear. That's the yes. aspect I want to come in. Uh, for the very first time, we're getting to hear uh, Senator Sani uh, that uh, we'll see a breakdown uh, because there's all this child that in some kind of uh, uh, small talks. Uh, and now we're looking at the breakdown. Do you think uh, it's high time uh, the leadership uh, spoke uh, to these matters that uh, Nigerians are talking about uh, by making it more transparent, more so now that Nigeria is in dire straits uh, in terms of our bad economy? Well, um, first of all, there are issues that need to be addressed as far as the finances of the national, the fiscal policies of the National Assembly is concerned. Uh, first and foremost is the issue of the constituency funds. When people are elected into the legislative arm of government, they should be there to make laws and perform oversight function as, as an arm of government, as a parliament. They should not be saddled with the responsibility of building schools and roads and, and hospitals. But we live in a country where the masses, the people, don't can't differentiate between the responsibility of a lawmaker and that of those in the executive arm. And to make matters worse, themselves, politicians, because they want to be elected into office, they make promises which they clearly knew that is not the responsibility and duty of a lawmaker. When you say as a lawmaker, vote for me, I'll build schools, I'll build hospitals, I'll build roads, you are making the promises which a governor or a president <laughs> should be able to... Should be making. So that, that comes part of it. So the issue now is that since the discussions have come up, so it is now for the leadership of the National Assembly to come forward and own up to this issue and see how uh, there will be more transparency. If you, if in the beginning, uh, constituency funds was suggested that should be given to the senators. But then issue started that if you will give a senator two, three hundred million naira per annum, credit to his account to do whatever he wants mm. to do, it may not. So if they brought the idea, domicile the money in MDAs, and they submit your project. The same thing with running cost. Um, running cost is not for you to pay the salary of the staffs in your office. All the staffs. Uh, that are employed in your own office are paid by the National Assembly. So in other words, this 21 million naira take home per month for each senator is not justified, it's not justifiable in any way or form? Well, I, I think uh, the issue is that you are required to retire and the items are listed. There are issue of newspapers, there are issue of hotels, bills, there are issue of flight tickets, there are issue of all those things here. But the money is steady. How will you be able to fly every month every, and then buy newspapers? When you were there, did you ever reti retire any well, everyone funds? Everyone has to retire. You must retire. If you don't retire, you will not on get paper, a, get a On paper, us. that's what's required. But indeed, I mean, did lawmakers retire any funds when you were there? Well, you did you personally? To, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. We all have to retire it. Uh -huh. and, and then we retired. We, I received. That is why I said, because when I made that disclosure, actually, almost 80% of the senators were angry with me. And many were not 
I was not in talking terms with many of them. And I nearly earned a suspension, if not the intervention of uh, Saraki and Ekoremadu at that time, that cautioned that if I am going to be suspended, there will be a backlash from the civil society, and there is a possibility that I will spill more bits. So that saved me. So I don't know what will happen we're, we're, to Kawasaki. We're running out of time. Good <laughs> thing you're not there now. So I'm happy, even while you were there, you were still 